Ahoy, salty dogs! Welcome back to Starmate. My name is Lenscap, and we are working on Project Titan. Uh, in today's episode, here, let's actually, let's start with, uh, let's start with a recap. So, last week, last week, on Saturday this week, um, we did some work on the frigate that, uh, that we've been working on, of course, um, on Twitch. Um, we made it to our Twitch live stream this week, and we um, we added in a cargo pod area, um, an extension of the cargo bay that we did last episode. I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, let's uh, let's hop on down and take a look. Um, I've got one other thing to show you actually as well um, while we're doing this. So uh, before we start with that, let's take a look at this. Oh, that was kind of weird. It just disappeared. Okay, uh, let's take a look at this. So I added in this kind of um, water door, right? This atmospheric thing. And um, I wanted to find a way to block it so that borders couldn't come in. That seemed to be a big uh, kind of point of contention. So I, I think I've worked something out here. This is actually... This is brilliant, uh, if I do say so myself. <laughs> um, this is an amazing solution to this problem. So I've got a force field stuck in the same block as the water. Um, I made it a quarter slab. I could have made it a full block, but I, I went with quarter slab. Um, and you can see both textures all the time. I like that a lot. Um, so that kind of... I don't know why it's doing this. That didn't happen while we were streaming, but whatever. Um, we've got a button here so we can turn it off and then walk through just fine. And then we come out, we're out in space. Um, there's a button out here as well, by the way, where we can turn it back on. It does some weird clipping thing right here. So I don't think that can be avoided because, um, it's called Z fighting, but you've got the force field fighting with the water texture on who wants to be in front. And that's why it's doing this weird flashy thing. Um, it's called Z fighting. So anyway... Um, we built this force field, no, <laughs> we built this cargo pod, um, holder area thing, um, in our live stream, and you can't really see a lot of the details from here, which is a, kind of a shame, because we, we did a lot of work, and we put a lot of details in, um, but you can see some of the stuff. I think let's do this. Uh, let's hop into our ship core, into build mode. And I want to make one change real quick um, so that we can get the uh, cargo pod out of the way without completely launching it um, into the middle of the universe. <laughs> so um, what we can do is replace this red block with a green one real quick. And, uh, and that'll do it. Now if we go in here, we've got this toggle pod button. Let's turn up our HUD. So if we hit that, it'll send our pod out of the way. And uh, normally it would launch it, but because we swapped that out for a green block, it's just going to sit at the bottom um, out of the way. Which, I may actually leave it that way, to be perfectly honest. That would be really convenient. And then we can just undock it as we please, or whatever. <laughs> um, cool, so let's take a look. Um, it's I mean, it's nothing fancy, right? Like, it's kind of fancy, but it's, it's not super fancy. Um, We've got this like clamp feeling mechanism that holds the pod, and then there's this rail that it slides down, although it doesn't actually move, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> We've got this detail with the pipes uh, going on. Gosh, I am in love with these pipes and grates. We've got grates um, all over. We've got pipes all over. I think it looks very like, it feels like a spaceship, um, in my opinion. Um, if you missed the live stream, if you want to see how I did some of this stuff, you can go check it out on twitch.tv slash lenscap. It's like two hours long, maybe. Just like skip through it if you're, you know, until you find the part that you're interested in. If, um, you know, if you really want to know the nitty gritty of, of building this thing. But, uh, yeah, I think there's some cool details in this. And, and uh, I think it looks good from afar. And it looks good from close. So that's... That's really what we want to accomplish there. Um, we'll probably put some armor around it. 
later when we get to doing armor and stuff. So that's probably not its final form. Um, I mean, that's like the interior of its final form or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's that. I did have one other change I wanted to make, though. Um, I have been working on something between episodes. And so I wanted to put that in our ship here real quick. And uh, I think... I uh, I don't think... I've been working on an artificial intelligence uh, program that, uh, that I think would be pretty cool for us to install in our series. And she can help us out with building and stuff. So um, where the only question really is like, where do we want to put her... Maybe she can be, um, instead of this, uh, fan right here, she could be this block. That actually, that's pretty cool. And then this whole thing is, uh, is interface with the AI. All right, cool. Let's hop into astronaut mode and, uh, we'll head down. We'll pop onto this console here and, uh, and let's start her up. Ahoy, Cap. I am Primary Experimental Neuro Enhancement Lattice and Orbital Privateer Engine. What can I do for ya? P-E-N-E-L-O-P-E. -E -E. Okay, uh, I'll call you Penny. Penny. I like that. Okay, Penny. <laughs> what can you do? You made me, you idiot. You know what I can do. <laughs> Penny. It's... It's for the viewers. Ah, right. I am programmed to assist in a wide variety of tasks, ranging from building, combat assistance, and snarky comments. I have taken the liberty to integrate myself into your cybernetic arm, so you now have the ability to access me from anywhere. Oh wow, that is really convenient. Um, okay Penny, well, I've just got one question for you then. Uh, what is best in life? Easy, to crush your enemies, see them driven before you. And hear the lamentations of the women. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> okay, okay. Bad acting aside, uh, let's go ahead and get started with uh, with the project for this episode. Um, we're going to add in escape pods next um, off of the back of the bridge. So you can see we're in the bridge here. And I uh, have these little like big panels on the back. So I've, I've kind of broken those down into these two little hallways. They're very dark right now, um, but they'll both kind of meet up in the center and head uh, head aft toward our escape pods. We'll have four escape pods, uh, two on either side. I think that'll be plenty for the amount of crew that we have. And then I think in the middle here, we're going to put like a little access um, ladder down into uh, an engineering uh, area where we can have like uh, an engineer who works on uh, keeping the engines running and our reactor when we get to reactors and um, all that kind of stuff. So we'll 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 that'll be another day though. Today we're gonna do the escape pods. Um, I do think maybe at the end of the escape pod we'll have another maybe like um, maybe another ladder. Maybe not a ladder. Maybe just a room there. Uh, that will extend into the captain's quarters, so that way the captain can kind of have uh, some private quarters as well um, that's separated from the crew quarters, which will be uh, up in this area. Um, with escape pods, they're going to be pretty simple, right? All we really need are uh, basically some shootout rails um, that our that our pods will sit on, and then we'll need a way to tell them. You know, obviously, not to shoot out <laughs> until we're ready. Uh, we'll have to design the escape pods, but those don't have to be super fancy. Our crew is only going to be, what, like, eight people? Maybe ten at most? So if we have three, six, nine, if we have room enough for twelve people, three in each pod, then that's plenty of, like, lifeboat uh, positions for our entire crew. Um, we could really get away with three escape pods, honestly, I bet, because the captain's going to go down with the ship for sure. Um, you know, we may be pirates, but that doesn't mean we're savages. So, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think that'll work. Um, 
Let's get some more detail fleshed out, I think, for this. And then we'll get to designing the escape pods. All right, let's go walk the hallway. Oh, I need gravity. Um, I've done enough of the hallway that I'm to the point where we're ready to put in the first set of escape pods. So that means that uh, we need to take a walk and look at it. Uh, and then we can start designing the escape pods because I don't really know how they're going to fit in until we know what the escape pods are going to look like. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. A lot of people hate this hazard, though. And, oh, no, that was not good. Um, do I have a way to get back inside where there's gravity? I do, like this. <laughs> That's probably the easiest way. All right, so obviously we've got a couple of things we need to contend with. Um, maybe we push this whole section back a little bit so it's inset a little bit better. But I like how it looks. I like what it's doing, although this is a little bit weird. But if we push it back um, a block or two, then that'll fix that. So I think that we'll do that. Then we can get rid of this bit of hazard here. I tried to do the metal grill first, and it looked better, but it was hard to tell where the hole in the floor was with the metal grill. So I did the hazard, and uh, that kind of worked, but I think we can do a better job with that. Um, we may need to adjust this. I found that over here... Yeah, it's not doing it now. Like, it's sometimes it'll let me actually walk up these, and sometimes it won't. I don't... I don't quite understand. Yeah, like, there it let me take a step. Okay, that time it let me do it. I don't know, like, some... T it's weird, it's weird. Um, but I like it. Obviously, it needs a little bit of tweaking. But, uh, so let's... I'm gonna tweak this a little bit. I think we'll just push it back into the wall another block, maybe two blocks. And then we can start designing our escape pod. Okay, I got distracted and redid this part <laughs> and finished up this part instead. Um, so I've got these neat little kind of inset bits. Like we've got all over the ship. Like it's not anything special, but I wanted to show you because I did it. Um, I also moved uh, Penny from down there to up here, somewhere more imposing. I thought that was a little bit better um, use of our, like location kind of thing you know after having done like some more parts this front bit really doesn't have a lot of color so i i might need to add some more color here maybe just some some wires or something some decorative pipes might work like instead of these things if we did pipes let's see if this looks any better just to give it a little bit more color up here because it's really drab um yeah i mean i think that helps Cool. Okay, escape pods next. Okay, so I've got the escape pod, uh, the escape pod designed, and now that I've done this, I really wish I had done this first because it's bigger than I thought I was gonna make it. It's still pretty small, but like it looks awesome. <laughs> it fits in with the rest of our fleet pretty well. Um, I modeled it after one of the shuttle, like I used the shuttle engines as a uh, inspiration for it. So. But this is our this is our escape pod. I this is a great little escape pod. I think it's got like the brown armor uh, on it. It's got the same kind of engine style that we've been using. Um, it's got it actually seats four, and I could probably make it seat at least one more person. So if our escape pod though ends up seating five people, then we only need two of them, uh, which is pretty cool. But that also means I need to redo all of what I just did with that hallway, <laughs> because if we only need two escape pods, we can put them both on the same side, and that changes the way the hallway is going to look. Which is fine with me. I really like that, actually. Um, it makes it a little bit easier. I have this, like, antenna thing here. Uh, the reason I have the antenna is so that... Okay, let's see. If I can unlock my camera... Uh, the reason I have the antenna is so that when we fly, we can get a yellow glow out of the engines, just like the rest of the ships. Um, I could shorten it, I guess. Uh, that that would make the escape pod fit in the, uh, like, a little escape pod 
launching bay. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. Um, a little bit more easily. So maybe take it down to like three paint cans and one light rod. Um, let's do that real quick. And, uh, and see if we still like that as much. Whoops. So obviously I need to get the yellow light rods back out. Yellow light. There we go. And we need the rods like that. Let's turn it off. Uh, maybe two light rods. Yeah, I like that it's asim too. It's a little bit asim. Um, generally, I use orange for antennas because that's my fleet color. Oh, you know what? I don't have any of that orange on this. It's gonna be hard to find a spot to put any. I may just skip it for this ship though. It looks pretty good without it. I think. So and um. Let's see what else. We've got room for cargo in here, which is pretty surprising. I ended up fitting uh, four cargo blocks, so it's actually got, you know, uh, are these not linked? It's got room for 500 whatever capacity, whatever the metric is, the unit is. Um, I like this little escape pod. Okay, so I think this is what we're going to roll with. Um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to have to redesign this whole hallway because now it pretty much is just going to come straight off one side and then the escape pods will launch from this side. That actually makes it a little bit easier to kind of uh, position our ladder for the um, engine room. So I think that'll be cool. Um, I'm going to work on that. Probably we'll do a live stream actually then. I'll tear this down and redo that stuff. And, but I like our little escape pod. It's kind of cute. Um, let's add one more chair in it, actually. Um, that way we can get an even 10, uh, 10 crew. Uh, life, like lifeboats, uh, room for 10 crew. Um, if we remove this, we can, we can put two more. That gives us room for 12 crew, which is the same as our original number. Um, which, there we go. That's fantastic. Maybe we should put them facing the same way as the other guys. Like this. And we're kind of sideways, but uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, this is such a cute little escape pod. <laughs> okay, so before we end the episode, um, hey, Penny? Yeah, Cap? Uh, do you have anything that you want to add? Yeah, sure, Cap. You got a comment on your last video that you should see. Audium Misting posted a great list of ship classifications. I'll put it on the screen for ya. Oh yeah, good idea, Penny. Hey, thanks. Um, okay, so this is an awesome comment. Uh, there are so many good options for ship names in this comment. Um, I'm gonna put them all on the screen, or Penny's gonna do that. And, uh, <laughs> check them out. There's like, I don't know, we'll probably use a couple of these. Um, and if you have any other ideas, if you want to add to this list, Feel free to throw those in the comments as well. Um, I, I think that's going to do it for us, uh, though, today. Wouldn't you say, Penny? Yeah, I guess so. Well, guys, thank you for tuning in. If you liked the video, there's that handy-dandy thumbs-up button. But, uh, you know, it's very, all very optional. If you want to do it, you can. If you don't, you don't, you don't have to. That's fine. Um, let me know what you think of the escape pod. Uh, let me know what you think of Penny. Uh, do you like her? Do you not like her? Um, should we use her in the videos? Like, what do you think? Um, leave your feedback in the comments, and don't forget, stay tuned. Oh